What's happening, y'all? My name is Len Davis. I'm a Seattle-based filmmaker with Pangeality Productions, and I'm here in Kathmandu, Nepal. What's the name of the spot again? Where, where are we? Kwabahal. Kwabahal, between Tidy Choke and just outside Tamel. And I'm here with my old friend Dipendra Dangal and his dad. Dipendra is the sahuji or the shopkeeper of... What's the name of your business, Dipendra? Lovely Incense Traders. Lovely Incense Traders, also known as... Buddhist incense Udyog. Buddhist incense traders and Dipendra is a master of incense, selling. Did you say over two hundred blends? Yes. Nice. And these all are different blends that you personally have created. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about your store? What do you have here? We have uh, all the incense are made from the herbs, natural herbs. Mm -hmm. You know, we use barks, resins, uh, and then. Without any chemicals, our main focus of mm -hmm. making incense is without chemicals. Okay. Uh, we used to export uh, overseas. Mm -hmm. All over the world, yeah? Yeah, most nice. of the Europe and America. Cool. So, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is to connect people around the world who may not have the opportunity to come to Nepal. Uh -huh. Shop shop owners, gift shops, all kinds of people, you know. Uh, Natural food stores, places who are interested in natural products who would like to buy wholesale or directly from Dependra, mm -hmm. but don't have the opportunity to make it here. And Dependra, I'll put your contact information in the description and help people, but show me a couple products. Where are some incenses that you like, some old favorites, uh, and tell me a little bit about them. You design the recipe for the incense as well as the packaging, uh -huh. and then you have them made locally here in the Kathmandu Valley, yeah? Yeah, these are all my products. Okay. These are all different varieties? Ways, yeah. This is a tree of life incense. Okay, and how did you come up with that name? Uh, well, with its blends, tree of life incense. There are five kinds, okay. five different types. One, sir. And then also these are very good incense. The all incense I show you here. Yes. The best, selected. Nice. And so how do you come up with these concepts, the names, or where is the knowledge coming from that is behind? I told you, I learned these all from universe. Nice. <laughs> so you keep your receptors open? Yeah. <laughs> nice. And the packaging all also Nepali lokta paper. Lokta means? Handmade uh, paper, lokta, uh -huh. which is called handmade paper. Nice. All the packaging, also natural. Nice. And um, Bhutanese fabric also. Mm -hmm. Nice. Textile. What are a couple of your favorites? Can you show me and tell me about them? These are uh, the best in my series, number one. This. Okay. And when you say the best, you mean they are your favorites or best yeah, seller? Yeah, my favorite. Also best seller. Uh -huh. And what do you love about them? Because of the quality. Okay. And how is incense traditionally used? Lots of people burn it just simply because they like the smell and they think it creates a nice ambiance. But... What uh, is it incense used in a traditional way? Can you tell me about it? People use traditional, yeah, traditionally, and also people want uh, natural incense in instead of chemical. They want to be free from chemical work, mm -hmm. so they need natural incense. In incense, everything, yeah, as I know, nice. incense mostly people want because it should be natural, mm -hmm. hundred percent. And are all the plants that go into these uh, products uh, grown here in Nepal? Uh, Ninety percent. From Nepal. Uh -huh. And the other 10? 10 we import from India and also mm -hmm. nice. Tibet. Okay. And are they wild grown or they're cultivated or what? Cultivated. Cultivated. Yes. Yeah, some. Nice. And so give me a sense of some of the most common ingredients that go into your blends. Uh, the most uh, common are like a juniper berry, sandalwood, spike nard, mm -hmm. basil, mm -hmm. and some spices also we use. Okay. Cloves. Nope. Cardamom. And what do you use to bind the dry herbs together into the incense sticks? What? How do you how do you get it to stick together? Uh, with the natural glue. Natural glue. Yeah. Uh huh. From the tree, barks and resins. Okay. We don't use any chemical glue also in making. And what's the difference between uh, a lot? Of, I think a lot of people around the world are more familiar with incense on a stick. Yeah. And most of the incense that you make and sell is not on a stick. What's the difference? The stick incense uh, the best on the perfume way. So, and bamboo itself also not good to burn in mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. view. So the the more familiar incense on a stick you're saying tends to be perfume and therefore uh, synthetic and not yeah, natural. Synthetic, not natural. Uh huh. 
Some of them are natural, also I make, yeah, but mostly the best is perfume. Cool. Anything that you want your friends and family and audience around the world to know about your business? Yeah, thanks for <laughs> watching video, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. So again, I'm Len Davis. I'm a Seattle-based filmmaker. I'm here in Kathmandu with my old friend, Dependra Dungal. I've been trying to help him grow his business by connecting him with people around the world who are interested in buying great incense wholesale. I'll put the contact information in the description of the video and uh, feel free to reach out to him. Sweet guy. He's happy to answer all your questions and he's got a giant variety, whether you're interested in a small order or much more substantial for your gift shop or bookstore or whatever it may be. Unza? Egg them. Stay fresh, y'all. Yeah.